What's up guys? You already know it's your boy B here, man. Coming to you with another live video. Um, today's video is going to be a little different than my, you know, previous videos. And one of the things I want to discuss today is um, something that can be, you know, mis misunderstood in a sense. And that's called self-discipline. You know, when people hear self-discipline, they sometimes can think that this automatically means that you're, you're putting yourself in like a restrictive lifestyle. You know what I mean? Like you're limiting yourself, you know, and pretty much, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, where it's quite frankly the opposite. And pretty much the reason why I bring this up, because I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you about an uh, experience that I've been going through um, in regards to self-discipline. So, you know, self-discipline is pretty much you exercising your self-control in a sense. You know what I mean? That's the best way to look at, look at it, rather. It's not as simple. It's not the fact of, you know, you're putting a restriction on your lifestyle. It's the fact that you're exercising your self-control within yourself. And this can help you in so many different aspects of your life. You know, for, you know, perfect example, exercising, deciding to go to the gym. You know what I mean? Defeating that inner mindset that can come, that inner voice, rather, that can come to you and be like, oh, you know, you know, you're ready to go to the gym at five o'clock and you get that voice like, oh, man, I don't feel like it. You know, I don't, you know, I can just stay home, watch TV. I'll just go tomorrow, you know, you know, and when you exercising your, your self-discipline, which is self-control, you know what I mean? It helps create more perseverance, you know what I mean? To help you bust through those challenges, you know what I mean? That we deal with as humans every day in and day out. So two days ago, I was listening to a, a YouTube video that pretty much talked about self-discipline and Will Smith was, you know, uh, it was a created the YouTube video was created by someone else, but Will, it was Will Smith talking about self discipline as well, and you know, in that video it was very interesting. Um, and the thing that struck out to me the most is like, okay, I'm always looking for ways to better myself, but this struck out to me the most because this this I'm going to utilize this to help me gain better self control, and pretty much, you know, they talked about. Uh, one of the things they said to start to do is you take your first and last hour of each day. We talking about the time you wake up, all the way up until the time you go to sleep. Don't use your phone. And um, you know I've been doing that for, you know for the past two days, and I have to say, you know, it was more worthwhile than I thought it was going to be. You know what I mean? And I noticed that I was able to focus a lot better. I wasn't distracted by worrying about what's going on in social media, you know, because you guys know I'm on YouTube. Of course, I'm here. I'm on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm constantly trying to keep up with things that's going on, not just crypto, but any other thing. Um, so I thought, you know, that could be a little challenge. I said, you know what? Let me exercise my self-control. So during that time, especially at nighttime, I utilize that time just to get back into reading books. Um, which I'm doing now, and I showed you guys in my previous video, you know, two books that I purchased that I actually started reading the first one, that's called The Internet of Money. And, um, you know, I, I thought it was interesting that I was able to, you know what I mean, kind of relax my mind in a sense a lot better than, you know, having bright lights in my eyes and constantly looking at the little screen and things like that. So, you know what I mean, I thought it was very important. And, like, of course, I tweeted about it. I'm quite sure if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys have seen me talk about it look, real briefly, but I decided to share a video and just to discuss the importance of self-discipline. Now, I did take some notes and things like that. So if I'm looking away from the screen, you know, that's because I, you know, I just want to read some of the notes that I gathered from a reading, a couple of readings that I did, you know what I mean, discussing, you know, the importance of the topic. And pretty much, you know, like I said, it, it creates a self-discipline and it gives you that power to stick to your decisions. Like I said, I gave you the example of going to the gym. Um, you know what I mean? You know, you're supposed to go to the gym at like five o'clock time comes you get that inner mind that inner voice like oh man you too tired you ain't got to do this you ain't got to do that you can do it tomorrow man so sit home and watch tv you know and these are the kind of things that can stop you from achieving a goal that you set in place let's say if you know summertime is coming and you know you want to look a certain way and now you know you in that process you started that goal you know i was working towards that goal and then you got that inner voice calling like look man, you can do that tomorrow, you know what I mean? And this is where, you know, you want to exercise that inner that inner strength, you understand what I'm saying? And help, you know, develop, you know, more perseverance, you know what I mean? So you can bust through those things, you get what I'm saying? And that's one of the most important things in life in general, you know what I mean? Just like achieving your goals. And one of the most important things as well is like, it helps you get past that, that, that feeling of hurt or shame of disappointment 
you know, when you're when you're along your path in life and you're focusing on you got that plan and things are not working out, you know what I mean, the way you expect it right then and there. And a lot of times that can be very discouraging, you know what I mean? And we need things that's gonna boost us. You understand what I'm saying? So I think that with you exercising your self discipline, your inner control can help with all that. And one of the most things it talks about, you know, I mean that I, in the article that I read was like I said, it, it helps, you know, get away from the laziness. It helps you become more um more task oriented, more focused, you know, things such as goals and things like that. And it just helps you become a better person overall. And um, you know, like I said, I'm looking through these notes that I, I, I wrote down and one of the key couple key points that, you know, I took away from this and, you know, the, the discussion was pretty much like the, the the important ingredients of success, you know, and perseverance, you know, I mean, being able to push through even when the times is tough, you know, you got self-control, better self-control. If you're on a diet, you're sticking to that script, you understand what I'm saying? And you like, all right, man. I, I'm not supposed to be eating that piece of cake or that ice cream or whatever. And you said like that cheat day for like Saturday and it's only Tuesday. And you're like, oh, I can just push my cheat day up. No, stick to your plan. You know what I mean? Drive that inner strength. You know, it's called exercising your inner strength. You know, and it's helping you stick to the plan because at the end of the day, you're trying to achieve an ultimate goal. You know what I mean? So another thing is, you know, perfect example. You know, like I, I wrote down, you know, uh, the ability to resist distractions and temptations, you know, and this is just in, in so many different things in life, you know, it can be decision making, you know, whether it's a diet, you know, whether it's exercise, whether it's you and investing, you know, and from an investing standpoint, you know, the, the more self-control you have, the better you are making better decisions and you won't be as easily influenced when you hear things like FUD, you know, and, 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 you know, FOMO. FUD is a uh, fear, uncertainty, doubt for all my people that don't understand that. And like FOMO, fear, missing out, you know what I mean? It helps you get like a better control of those, those urgencies, you know, and it helps you not respond so much, um, from impulse, because that inner control dials you back some and helps you get a, a greater ga uh, grasp of what's going on at that point in time. And, um, you know, like I say, uh, we, we talk about, you know, it helps you, you know, uh, achieve or fulfill promises that you didn't kept with yourself. It keeps you back on track. Like say, if you're working on a project, um, it, it helps you, it takes that, you know, you get that long stretch, you know what I mean? You feel like, you know, if you, if you speed up that process a little bit, you can go ahead and just, just, just get it done and over because you're getting tired, you're getting frustrated, whatever. But instead of sticking to the script, you know, and making sure things are right, taking your time, making sure things are right the first time, you know what I mean? That kind of helps alleviate a lot of that feeling as well. Um, you know, and a couple of examples I wrote, you know, just like, you know, waking up early in the morning, um, overcoming habits of like being on your mobile devices or, or watching TV too much. You know, you can utilize that time. You still can do those things, but you can utilize that time and then to a more meaningful task. You understand what I'm saying? Like say if you want to read more, you know, you decrease your time that you're on your mobile device and you just pick up a book and start reading, you know? So, you know, self-discipline is very important. And I think that, you know, if we practice this more as humans, you know, it'll make us overall better people. I think we'll be able to achieve more goals and we'll be, we'll be able to be more focused and more better, excuse me, better well-rounded individuals at the end of the day. So I kind of just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I don't really anticipate getting a bunch of likes on this video. Who knows? Maybe I will. But I just wanted to put that information out there. Um, I greatly appreciate you guys. And you guys make sure you have a blessed day. But what if I have to leave one thing, or, you know, leave you with one thing is treat yourself, man. Better yourself and do what you need to do to be a better you. All right. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Peace and blessings.